All right, chapter five, chapter nine, problem 13. Uh, we have a shell that's shot with initial velocity of 20 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal at the top of the trajectory. The shell explodes into two fragments of equal mass. One fragment whose speed immediately after the explosion is zero falls vertically. How far from the gun does the other fragment land assuming that the train is level and air drag is negligible. All right? So this gets shot at 60 degrees. All right, 60 degrees. Um, and this is 20 meters per second. And then at some point up here, it goes boom. A piece of it, its velocity is, res is um, becomes zero. Right, its velocity at the top of the trajectory, its velocity becomes zero, and then the remaining mass goes on from there. So, how far from the gun does the other fragment land, assuming that the train is level and air drag is negligible? So, think about what happens. Now, you got to forget the let's go back to the instance of the explosion. You have two pieces here. They're moving along with a velocity that is going to be um, 20 meters per second times a cosine of 60 degrees. Right? Oh, if I could write better, that would help. Cosine of 60 degrees. Right? So 20 meters per second times a cosine of 60 degrees. All of a sudden, at the instant this um, explosion happens, part of it is now sitting still. And the other part keeps on trucking. Right? Now, what must be the velocity of the other part? If this now has zero velocity and this um, keeps going, right, via conservation of momentum, since this now has zero momentum, and, and since this happens at the top of the trajectory, the y component of velocity is zero and immaterial, right? So this is now moving at 40 meters per second times cosine of 60 degrees, right? Which I think is, well, all right. So this is going to drop straight down. This is going to end up going twice as far as it would have to begin with, right? And what happens with the average? The average ends up exactly where these, this projectile would have hit had the explosion not occurred. All right, so Vx, well, V naught x is 20 meters per second times a cosine of 60 degrees. All right, and goes 20 times cosine radians of 60, which is 10, yes. 10 meters per second. All right, that's its x velocity. Um, what is its v naught y? Y is um, do, 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 equals 20 times sine 60. All right, 17.32 is its y velocity. Okay, one fragment immediately after the explosion, zero volts vertically. How far does the gun fragment land? Assuming the terrain is level and air drag is negligible. How far away does it land? All right, so um, how high does it go? Um, the quick and dirty way to get to how high it goes is it uh, one half, one half m v naught y squared equals mgh, right? All the kinetic energy um, um, for the y velocity converts into um, height. So the I don't care how high it goes. I'm sorry. So <laughs> I want to know how long it takes. Um, so y equals y naught which is zero, all right, plus um, V naught Y times time plus one half 
a t squared. Uh, a is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. And so in y, y naught is 0. In y, we're looking for 17 point, do it easier still, and just go with v naught, vy equals v naught y plus a t is 17.32 meters per second minus 9.8 meters per second squared times time. We're going to ask at what time does that become zero? Right? At what time does that become zero? Um, so at the top of the directory it will be 17.32 divided by 9.8 seconds. That's when it reaches the top of its trajectory. So equals 17.32 divided by 9.8 and we get 1.77 seconds. 1.77 seconds. All right, that is the time to the midway point. Now, when this object falls apart in midair, how long does it take for this piece to hit the ground? Another 1.77 seconds, right? So it travels along at 20 meters per second, I mean, sorry, at 10 meters per second for 1.77 seconds, and then it's going to travel along at 20 meters per second for 1.77 seconds. All right. So the distance we're after is 10 meters per second times 1.77 seconds plus 20 meters, 20 meters per second times 1.77 seconds, and that is how far away. Um, 1.77 times 10 plus 1 plus 1.77 times 20. That's how far away it lands, or 53 1 meters, right? It lands 50 the second fragment lands 53.1 meters away. The first fragment, okay, the first fragment lands 17.7, all right, because the first fragment comes straight down, right, so the first fragment lands 17.7 meters away. Um, average of 17.7 and 53.1 is 35.4 which is 17.7 times 2 which is exactly where the center of mass should land so the average between the two pieces is where the center of mass went and this is because they have the same mass um, the center of mass kept following exactly the same trajectory that it would have fo followed had this explosion not occurred and that's it for problem 13